Welcome back to another leak code coding problem here with beapython.dev. Uh, today's problem is looking at Pascal's triangle and solving it recursively. The idea of Pascal's triangle is that each number in the insides of the triangle is the sum of the two numbers directly above it, and the outsides are one. So your first row would be one, your second row would be one, one. And then for the insides of the third row, you calculate it from the row before that. Uh, and this can be done recursively, as we said before, by taking a base case, uh, which will always return a value, and then getting the previous row by doing a recursive call to the function that we're using. For instance, to get the fourth row of the triangle, you can actually get the triangle for three and above, and then just add a row onto that where the three and the three is populated from the adding one and two here, which comes down into the three, and then adding the two and the one over here, which also comes down into the three. So we're gonna implement this in Python, again, recursively. So with any recursive function, we're gonna want to define our base cases. So if num rows equals zero, return a empty list. Um, if num rows equals equals one, return, my keyboard is really delayed right now, <laughs> return, actually this is a list of list, so our base case here would just be this. Um, I don't think we need to do else if because we're just gonna fall through our condition if num rows is two or higher. So for this case, we need to define our <clears throat> new row that we're gonna be adding on to the triangle above. So new row will just be a list of one for the outside, and then we will be calculating the inside, and then we'll be appending one to the end of that. So to do that, we need the <clears throat> previous row, well, we actually need the whole triangle from the previous value of this function. And then we're going to add our new row to it. So to do that, we're going to call generate with num rows minus one. So if we're generating a Pascal's triangle with rows equal to four, getting the Pascal's triangle for rows equals three, and then adding the new row onto it. And that will kind of recurse down where we're stacking generate calls on top of each other. So for three, we're getting the one for two. For rows two, we're getting the triangle for rows one. Rows one hits our base case, and all of these method calls will end up returning and continuing through this result logic after this. So now we're going to want to get our new values that we're going to be putting into the new row. Uh, we'll just do this with a range loop. Um, this is just result, right? Well, since result is the whole triangle, we want just the row. So last row will equal to result negative one, since you can do negative indexing in Python. And then we're gonna wanna iterate and arrange for the length of that last row, uh, minus one. For i in range, yep, yeah, that's right. Uh, we can also do a while loop here, but. All right, so the number we're gonna be adding is last row i. Yeah, the reason we want minus one is because with the way we're generating the interior number, we're doing last row i plus last row i plus one. So if we don't do minus one, we'll end up getting a index out of range for this function right here. Um, and then we're just gonna append this to the new row. Uh, and Python is not a big fan of camel case. I guess I'm mixing my camel case and my snake cases because of the way they're defining it here in the leak code guy up here. Uh, just for my own sanity and to follow pep8, we'll go ahead and make the snake case. And I'm sure I end up missed one. I missed this one right here. <clears throat> All right, that's fine. Uh, so new row dot append the number that we calculated from the last row, and then 
This will just be new row dot append one. Uh, make sure that doesn't append on the one case, and it won't because we are returning right there. And then we're going to want to return this list. Um, so actually, we need to append the row that we just created onto our triangle. So result that appends new row. And now we just return the result. All right, this should work. Um, let's go ahead and run this for the custom case. Uh, we'll start with one. So this should hit this block right here and just return a two dimensional array of one one. So running code status pending, judging your input one, still judging. At some point, I really should get leak code premium, which would make this run faster. Finished. All right. Your answer one, expect answer one. Uh, exactly like we said, a list of list one. <laughs> All right, so custom test case five, which should end up giving us this as defined in the problem statement. Uh, let's go ahead and run this. All right, so this is finished. Your answer. Expected answer that ends up meeting. So now that we're pretty confident that this recursive case works for the Pascal triangle, we will go ahead and submit it. Um, well, actually, let's reread this. Um, we're making assumptions that this is non negative. Let's just confirm these assumptions. So, given a non negative integer, so we don't need to check for non negative integers here. Uh, it never actually specified whether zero would be fed in or not, so we just went ahead and covered that case there. And then we have the rest of our recursive algorithm. So we'll go ahead and submit this. Pending. Accepted. All right, sounds good. Uh, so if you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe this video. It'll really help the channel grow. Uh, check out the blog. The link is below. Uh, take care. Have fun.